All right, guys, welcome to or welcome back to Figs Outside. So today we're on location. I'm at a buddy's house. He had some uh, pretty big rotten cedars that he wanted cut. Um, and so I didn't didn't even think about cutting this one. Um, after I seen it yesterday, just it kind of stressed me out seeing it. It was hanging out toward his house. I'll show it to you right so here. Here it is. This is it right here. Two feet, nine inches, but you see it's just, this thing is nasty. And it was probably about a hundred, probably close to 120 tall, but had to high side it. I don't know if you all can see it right there. Pretty punky in the middle. Made, get, had a big Dutchman. When I plumbed it out, there's this house up there. And when I plumbed it out, it was hanging out that way. It kind of right out through those trees, right through there. It was hanging out about 15 feet. And so I showed you, I cut it off to see how nasty is there but uh i mean look at this thing it just it was just so rotten you know it just blew apart but it broke it went touched all the way up in there so but we got another one that we're gonna do i'll show you guys this one here and it's even taller and bigger and it kind of leans out toward his house but that's it right there and you can see it's got hardly any bones to it, but it lanes out. Nice big tall one. It goes all the way down through there. We're gonna swamp our way in there. And anyway, so we're gonna get that going and we'll actually try to get this one on camera. All right guys, so we made our way back in here. Here it is, got a mess. We gotta clean this up and get all this crap out of here for an escape route. Always got to swamp it out. That's one thing. So, kind of brush you up top. But this is it. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it goes way up there. You can see the belly in it really good. The belly leans out about four feet, and then the top kind of kicks back up to the north by another three feet. Not too bad. We're getting a little wind, but we're gonna. Send her out. Oh, we're gonna send her out in between here, hopefully. We're not brushing anything. We're send her right out through those spruce trees. It's our only real path, good path. And pretty tall. We're really not that far from his house. You can see his house right through there. The stump I showed you guys is right, right through there. So, but it would top out pretty much right at his back door. So we don't want that. And, She's pretty nasty. She's pretty good size, but it's pretty punky. So you see where I busted all up and right underneath that, that's all solid. So that's good. But the back is back solid. So that'll be good. That way the wedges will hold. So anyway, we're going to get to work. All right. So got the face cut out of it. Now we're going to get her over.
Well, there it is. Came down, it was off mark, it just wouldn't hold enough. It lean out too hard. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, put tape on it real quick. Four ten and a half. But yeah, whole center was rotten. You guys can see. But anyway, this wouldn't hold on enough. So anyway, yeah. Widowmaker sitting up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. She started to come apart as soon as it started going. Once it was about a couple of feet from that tree, the whole stop, the whole top just started coming apart on it. But it's down, nowhere's toward the house. That's all that matters. So, anyway, got blessed again. That's a nasty little bugger. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll come down in a storm. Yeah, there's more up there. Up there, there's another one up there, another one up there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if we, yeah, see it. So it was a lot taller than that old spruce tree, but yeah, it just came apart by the time it almost got to those limbs right there. It started blowing apart on the top. It's, it was wanting to go where it should have out that way, but once it kind of started going, it just started coming apart, and the rest of it just kind of came down right through there, as you guys saw. So Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. So we'll walk this out a little bit. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> There's not a whole piece left up in there, really. But staying back a little ways just because of all the crap that's in that tree. I mean, you got that piece, that piece. There's another big old piece that's right up in there. You can see it hanging whole bunch of it up there but uh yeah so anyway well, big old spear that would have not felt good and gave you a good old knowledge knot but you can see it just blew apart it was teeth fixed it was totally rotten if you look right here she was completely hollow in there splitting right here in between her feet. yeah charles and is splitting all the way back up in there but yeah, there's not a whole piece left in up in there. It don't look like, and I ain't gonna go in there to find out. Not until after this next big windstorm get all that crap out of there. But nice little spear. But anyway, just thought I'd show you guys that real quick. Cameraman Charles, helper, swamping out for me. Nasty. I mean, look, I mean, just look at this thing. Just, I mean, just disgusting. Just you sit there and dig out of the middle of it, you know. Just not good, but it is good because it ain't going to go toward his house or anybody have to worry about it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later.